Hello again. Hi. So sorry about that. Why am I? Come on, Zomac. <laughs> Who hit Why the button? I... <laughs> you warned us that you shouldn't have that power. Dave. You did. We were warned. <laughs> um, I think once Stephanie, or can you make Brett the host? Well, Stephanie was the co-host. So let's hope will people try to get back in. Beth is in the waiting. Beth is in the whatchamacallit. And participants. Thank you. Uh, attend. Yeah, yeah. And so is one of our public folks. Yep. But there were more before. Yeah, there were there were three two or two other people. You know, I'm not seeing that I well Larry's back in. Yeah, Benjamin and Eve. Yeah. If I remember correctly. I see yep. Beth right. as an attendee. Man, my Zoom meeting, my town Zoom meetings have, I, I think it's me. I'm bringing bad luck. <laughs> Jen is back. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. I got kicked off and then. Jen, it's all your fault. Did it happen no. to anyone else? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it just all, happened to you. You're the, you're the <laughs> you. Where have you been? <laughs> So Stephanie is trying to get back on, but she's the co-host. So if I leave, why should it? Oh, maybe because you initiated it, Dave. You should. But be. I didn't. I just um, I just use the uh, I just use the link from the email. But if you start up a meeting, Dave, and when you leave it, you should be able to pass on that responsibility. There needs to be um, some. So when you hit end. It, you should be signaled end for all, and right. if you say no, then you should be able to pass it on to someone else. Somebody else, that's right. Let's see if we can get Stephanie back on. I see Beth is here, but now she needs to be made back a panelist, right? Yeah, but only a host or a co-host can do that. So that's either you, Dave, or if you make me a co-host, I can let Beth in. And remind me, how do I make you a co-host? <laughs> uh, so you find my you name, and then next to my more. name is more, I believe. Bingo. Yep. Right. You are now. Okay. There's Stephanie back. Okay, I think we have everybody back. So, about that. so, so we just all need a little break. Sorry, there. Beth. So. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so we if have Brett is the host part. now, and I leave. It won't kill the meeting, right? Uh, I do, depends on how you leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you oh, make, so you may if it host. tells you, if it tells you that there's going to be that, that it's going to get killed, you don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, Dave. If you make either Brett or I the the host, I'm gonna can I make you both? Yeah, you can uh, make us both the host, and then you can leave without ending the meeting. Yeah, you we're good. So I think it depends on who's. I'm technically right. now. I'm the host, and you're the co-host. So I think it's yep. up to me. And I, so I think I'm I, good. I right. Pass it on, but I'm not we going anywhere. Be for smooth, work. Dave, and just like slip <laughs> out. And just, you, you, know. <laughs> you want to have a nice dramatic exit there. Never, <laughs> you can't never been go. that smooth. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. Dave. Bye, Dave. Bye, Dave. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Poor okay. Dave. Okay, so we are all here. The um, only issue that I see is that we do have two attendees who are not with us again yet. So maybe they will join. Uh, I know at least one of those is here for the Canton Avenue. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I think both, but I'm not positive. So. Okay. Um, so um we were bringing it back and we were on order of conditions um and so beth was clarifying specifically about the dewatering and there is the idea for sediment basins in there but there's not a formal uh dewatering plan and so. right and uh, um it's good to i feel like to leave that to the contractor you know to be a little more specific so once we bid and have somebody contracted part of their contract will, will be to create a, a dewatering plan and then you know it'll be specific as to what they're planning to do and then I provide that to the concom levered asked for it too so yeah so submit that prior to work and then also that frack out plan seemed frack like out. not if 
I mean, I, it's such a weird <laughs> title, but I think, you know, if DEP had brought that up, I think it's probably worthwhile to to require the frack out plan as well. So that's another thing that I would recommend. Yeah, yep. And that, that again would probably come from the drilling subcontractor. And the other, the last recommendation that I would also have is that Aaron um, be present for the drilling under Cushman Brook. Sounds good. Okay, does any of the other commissioners, you have any additional orders? That all sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, those sound good, thank you. Good job, Leverett and Stephanie. <laughs> so, okay, so I think we are good. And so at this point we are looking for a motion on this one. And so Stephanie, can you help us in, you know, what are the magic numbers we're looking for in this one? The magic numbers? Oh, oh um, like a negative two, this and a negative. So this is, um, this is a notice of intent. So yep. you're looking to um, approve and issue an order of conditions. Um, and I don't have the form in front of me, so. Okay. You're just, I think you can just simply issue an order of conditions with boilerplate and special conditions as identified. Okay, sounds good to me. Okay, I can try it. <laughs> all right, I saw that clapping off. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, all right. So I move that we issue a negative determination for the notice of intent um, and issue associated boilerplate and special um, conditions for the Town of Amherst Department of Public Works um, for construction of 9,500 linear foot, uh, nine, a 9,500 linear foot extension of drinking water main um, and associated parts under East Everett, Leverett Road, Cushman Road, and T. Waddle Road. Um, with directional drilling under Cushman Brook, um, the special conditions are that they submit a turtle protection plan prior to work, they submit a dewatering plan prior to work, they submit a frack out document prior to work, and that the um, Town of Amherst Conserv Conservation Commission um, wetland or agent um, be present at the time of the Directional drilling under um, Cushman Brook. Second. Second. Ha, I beat you. <laughs> you beat me. <laughs> okay, so voice vote on this one. So, Jen? Aye. Larry? Aye. Anna? Aye. And I as well. So, I think we are good, Beth. And as you well know, Stephanie will be back in touch with uh, paperwork and all the sorts of good stuff. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. Have Thanks, Beth. Night. This is okay. the most we've ever talked about turtles in a meeting. I'm really enjoying it. Like, <laughs> a lot tonight. I'm really liking it. Just wait <laughs> long enough, turtles. <laughs> or I, mean, I mean, I feel like I, they didn't come up this much last year, which is so that's better. probably true. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, is that the universe? It's all we're all built on top of turtles or something. It's like, the, yeah, the yeah, down. yeah. It's not quite a flat Earth thing, but yeah, <laughs> shell Earth thing. Okay, so um, we have one item left on our list and I'm a little confused on how to proceed with this because of that little snafu with technology. So there was um, at least one additional person here who was here for this item. Right. They do, they are, they were able to come back on if they so desired. Um, so, I mean, technically we're fine to move forward. So, I mean, legally it's been announced, it's all of that. We had a small technical issue It all, you know, at least one attendee was able to come back. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I, we've already sort of delayed this one. So I feel like we really should probably have action on this one. But mm -hmm. I mean, if, if Stephanie advises otherwise or if other commissioners feel that we need to delay because of that, uh, we can talk about that. We okay moving forward? I'm having some mixed feelings about it just because I feel like a little, I mean, I'm wondering maybe, maybe kind of just to throw a little bit of what can we learn from this? If there's something in the future we can throw into an agenda that's like this link will always be the link. If the meeting ends, click back on, you know what I mean? Like, cause they might not have known that it, it was the same link and yes, they could have tried it, but I'm just in terms of maybe in the future avoiding if this ever does happen again. 
At um, least one of them was a UMass professor who used, and if you're a UMass professor, you use Zoom all the time. All not right. To, not to, def but. No, no, no. And not I'm not saying we shouldn't move forward. I just, I'm feeling a little bad about it. Um, and I don't know that um, someone's here actually representing the project. Mr. Stover is not on, I don't believe. I don't think and, they were on to begin with though. Yeah, um, I don't think so either. Um, I mean, so again, there were three people initially and right. um, you know, one name I recognized and um, who wasn't a butter. Um, yep. So we still do have um, Carolyn who's here. And then it was an Eve or an Eva or something yeah, like that. Okay. So at the last meeting, they were informed that they would be on this agenda. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little surprised at why no one is here representing the project. And I have not had any updates as to whether um, the flagging and the survey has begun. I have no updates whatsoever. So, and I haven't been out there. Um, so, what didn't I he say he didn't he say he wouldn't be able to get it get the flagging done before now he, he said be he wouldn't now. be well yeah but he was saying that based on his specific consultant that he likes to work with uh, which is not you know I mean right right it wasn't like that's the only person that you right. can work with you right. know right. um I know he said he was trying but trying is just you contacted somebody they told you when it was convenient and would work for them but that's not what you as a commission were asking to happen so yeah. uh, you know and then they're not here to represent tonight so i would say that you know your option at this point is to um you could issue the enforcement order. I mean, you haven't have issued an enforcement order. Um, I would say you could issue another enforcement order that would um, start fining. And I will say to you that in all the years that I have worked for the commission, I've never, we've never levied a fine on all the years, the 14 years that I worked with the commission, there was never a fine levied, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. I'm mm -hmm. just saying that I don't procedurally, I'm not even sure exactly, you know, other than putting it into the enforcement order in terms of collecting and how that works, I'm not sure. And then what would the amount be and all that sort of fun stuff too? Well, you know, it's, I think Aaron was recommending $300 per day until okay. the flagging is installed and surveyed and reflagged. So, I mean, you could potentially start um, start finding, you know, you could have started today, but you could start tomorrow. And then each day, it, it's just gonna require monitoring and making sure that um, we're keeping track of if and when the flagging goes up, when it's surveyed and when the flagging goes up. So there's that, um, you know, I'm, again, I'm just really surprised that no one's here. It's been par for the course. I know that Aaron mm -hmm. was having a really hard time um, getting responses from them. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure what's going on in their side, but that uh, it, it's been a running issue. And related to being able to get somebody to go out there and flag, Aaron did do some work um, on this mm -hmm. to see, you know, was she able to identify someone? And she could fairly easily. Um, and what I, I was, yes. And the conversation that I had with Mr. Stover prior to the last meeting was that they that that Mr. Wilson was not willing to work with the person that Aaron came up with that there maybe had been some personality conflicts in the past, and mm -hmm. I said regardless, and there's other people. Mr. Stover told me that he himself had recommended somebody that he also chose not to work with. So it's not as if there were not options beyond who he has worked with himself in the past. So I feel like in many ways, um, he's created this hardship, um, you know, himself. Yeah, and then the big thing in my mind, so we have this current um, enforcement order, but then it's also what happens next. Cause the bigger thing is we need this site to be restored. Mm -hmm. uh, but the problem is we can't have it restored until we have the flagging. Well, and so right. It is a multi-step process, but I mean, that's where we need to get to. So 
if the flagging is not done, we can't get it restored. Correct. Yep. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's anyway, no comment. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing that, you know, there's sort of some GIS and aerial uh, photographs and Google Earth images that you could potentially look to, to look at alteration that you could compare. Um, it would just take a little investigative work to do that kind of a thing to sort of actually show the difference. Um, but that doesn't really quantify the area of impact. Yeah, and we're going to need it reflagged for once restoration happens. So, um, yeah. Um, so we do have at least one of the other attendees. And so, Benjamin, sorry about our little technical snafu there. Um, and so we will open this up to the public in just a minute as well for those who are here. Um, so, I mean, my sort of feel for the room and where my belly is at this point. Yeah, I mean, we've been sitting on this and we've been punting and I think we've been extremely, extremely patient. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Stephanie. It's just crazy that they're not here tonight. No. Um, so I don't see any issues with us. Yeah, levying a fine at this point. Um, so 300 a day, um, they should, we will reconvene or this topic will come up again next time. So this should be a standing agenda item um, until this is resolved. And so once it is resolved on their part, they need to contact the town, so Stephanie, and then Stephanie will need to verify that it was completed. At that point, we can cease the um, the daily fines and, you know, then we'll reconvene, see if we're okay with everything there. Um, we'll need a site visit at some point to view the, the flagging to make sure that it's reasonable. Uh, and then at that point, then we can move on to the second enforcement order. So again, before I open it up to the general public, how are the other commissioners feeling about this one? Or Stephanie, what, how are you feeling? I concur. So, okay. Yeah, we've we've run out of rope. Like we're there's nothing left to there's nothing left to do no. other than fine. Yep, I'm with you all. Yeah, I and I would agree. And I think you can um I mean, I know Aaron had suggested at the last meeting that it be levied and um, you know, they were there, but I don't I don't feel like even their responses were really sufficient. So you gave them this additional two weeks. You gave them another chance. So uh, and I guess in terms of um, the start date of the fine, do you want to start, you know, as of today or tomorrow? I mean, I guess. Let's go for tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. So. All right. And so tomorrow is uh, the 11th of March. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oof. That's kind of sucky. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you've done, you did what you could. Yeah. Like beyond what we could. I mean, like, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, it feels. Yeah. Brett, do you want to get any public feedback or comment? Yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else um, before I do do that. Um, yeah, I mean, this project has just been so. Yeah, it's been problematic from the beginning. So, yeah. So um, Benjamin or Carolyn, or at least those are the names that are on um, Zoom. If either of you would like to um, say anything. You can just use the raise hand icon and then Stephanie or I can allow you to speak. Or if you just want to listen, that's fine as well. Okay, so. Allow ben allowing Benjamin. Uh, I just want to say thanks for all your work on this. That's all. Well, you are most welcome. Thank you for engaging with the process. That's right. And thank you for sticking with it and coming back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is one of those cursed ones. Yeah. Okay, so um, if not hearing anything else, uh, I think we need a motion and then we can vote. All right, I can I can do it. So are we moving? Can you can you help me with the mo motion? What would the motion be? We're just closing the meeting, We're right? Closing the so um, so the fine. So you want you want it because you're going to issue yet another enforcement order. So there's right. a series of enforcement right. orders that are being issued. So now you're is issuing another one to 
uh, levy a fine of $300 per day for each day that the flagging is not uh, surveyed and installed, resurveyed. As of tomorrow. As of mm -hmm. 3 11 21. And then the other enforcement orders, I think, just stand uh, until all those are resolved. Yes, for restoration, right, and restoration, exactly. And you would just reference the previous enforcement order. You can just. Okay, I'm ready. I can, res I can reference them in the, in the language of the enforcement order. Well, add any addendums to my <laughs> messy note motion here. Okay, so I move we issue an enforcement order uh, for Canton Ave, don't have the number, Canton Ave, um, including a fine of $300 per day that the flagging is not resurveyed um, as of March 11th, 2021. Um, in addition, the former uh, enforcement orders stand. Perfect. I'm just trying to be gentle, that's all. That was Second. Good. Second. Thank you, Larry. Okay, so looking for a voice vote, Jen. Aye. Larry. Aye. Anna. Aye. And I as well. So we have majority of the people voting for that. So starting tomorrow. And so Stephanie, I'm sure that you will communicate that to the property owner and yeah, I will. and um, you might want to encourage them to come. <laughs> Granted, you have encouraged them in the past, but again, suggest that it would be beneficial for them to show up next time. Yes. Thank you for doing that, Stephanie. Sure. So, yeah, definitely not part of the joys of this no. process. So this was always my least favorite part of the job. <laughs> Yeah, enforcement orders. Your second oh. meeting. Your second <laughs> meeting covering. We've already got you doing dirty work here. Yep. Okay, so are there any other topics that we need to cover tonight? I don't think so. I think you went through everything. Okay, excellent. And um, Stephanie, thank you again for guiding us, particularly stepping in for Aaron. Thank you, fellow commissioners, for showing up tonight. It was a short we're shorthanded tonight, so if any of us didn't show, we were in big trouble. <laughs> um, but we did; we got through it. So thank you. Okay, um, so I am looking for a final motion for adjournment. I like so moved. Kill me, Larry. You kill me. Uh, <laughs> second. Jen. Uh, I. Larry. I. Anna. I. And I as well, we are officially adjourned. And so we will stop the recording at this point. And luckily the recording started again or somebody remembered to start. I think started. it does actually automatically. Automatic, so. automatic, yeah. Excellent. Yeah.